Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is May 11th, 2023, and a report in the media outlet El Confidencial has reported that Barcelona were fined 50 million euros by the tax authorities in Spain due to irregularities in regards to the payment of players. Also, it looks like the club are working on giving Dembele a long-term contract until 2028. And finally, it's reported that Xabi will be meeting with Jordi Alba in order to discuss his future. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way in helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise like the shirt that I'm currently wearing, make sure you hit the kit back. The link is down below in the description. Now, we'll begin with the news that Barcelona are undergoing preparations for their match on Sunday against Espanyol at the Espanyol Stadium, where if Barcelona win that match, they will be crowned as champions of La Liga. Now, speaking of that match, it's reported that Sergi Roberto, who has been injured for a few weeks now, will be declared fit for that match. And for the first time in a very long time, Xabi will have the entire squad available to him with no players injured. Now, given that this is the final stretch of the season, that's, of course, great news. And it's even more uh, better news because Barcelona will need all the players healthy in order to assure that victory so we can be crowned champions of La Liga and pay off for the very long and hard road that we've had so far this season. Now, speaking of Barcelona matches, I reported on Tuesday that Barcelona have announced a friendly match at the end of the season against the Japanese side Vissal Kobe in Tokyo, where it's expected that's going to be the last match of Andres Iniesta with the Japanese club since he has announced that he will no longer continue playing with Vissal Kobe. And now Barcelona have confirmed the good news that they will be coming once again to the United States of America for that North American preseason tour. Now it seems that we're going to have four excellent matches during the summer where Barcelona are going to face off against Real Madrid, AC Milan, Juventus and Arsenal. And I'm very much looking forward to all of these matches. And we only know the day of one of those matches, which will be the El Clásico between Barcelona and Real Madrid, which is, to, which is gonna be played on July 29th in Dallas, Texas at Taka and Ball Stadium. Now getting the chance to play against four European giants, with two of them being semi-finalists of the Champions League of this season, is gonna be a great measure of the readiness of Xabi's team for European competitions and it's also going to be a great source of revenue for Barcelona since Barcelona really need to generate as much revenue as possible not only to meet the feasibility plan that La Liga have approved but also to make up for some of the revenue uh, some of the lost revenue that Barcelona are going to have to face uh, next season as they're going to move from the Spotify Camp Now to the Olympic Stadium in Mojuic which has half the capacity of the Camp Now and where Barcelona is estimated to lose 100 million euros in ticket sales. Now, speaking of monetary figures, today the media outlet in Spain, El Confidencial, released a report saying that the taxing authorities in Spain had fined Barcelona 15 million euros because of irregularities in regards to the payment of players that was in the form of Audi vehicles gifted to the players and also private plane charters. Now, this report stated that Barcelona had failed to report these gifts uh, as payment to the players, to the taxing authorities, and as a result, they were fined 15 million euros, and that these activities supposedly happened between the years of 2015 and 2018, which is when Josep Maria Bartomeu was president. Well, immediately after that report was released to the media, FC Barcelona released their own statement completely denying those allegations and FC Barcelona said FC Barcelona makes the following remarks and corrections with regard to the published article that the club was inspected for the 2015-2016 and 2017-2018 financial years the inspection closing in July 2021 
The tax office did not impose sanctions with regard to any of the supposed irregularities described by El Confidencial in its article. The sanctions that the article describes and which were appealed before the Central Administrative Financial Court referred to a different matter, which was the tax applicable to payments to players' agents. In this regard, Barca would like to stress that in April 2023, the Central Administrative Financial Court accepted the appeal lodged by the club's lawyers, canceling the fines relating to the income tax and non-resident income tax. It is hoped that the fines relating to the value-added tax, also on the matter of tax on payments to players' agents, will also be canceled shortly. The club demands rectification of the said information. So it seems that the information in the El Confidencial article was completely false. Yes, the Spanish taxing authorities did find Barcelona, but it wasn't due to irregularities for the payment of players. It was about payments to the Asians, and Barcelona appealed um, all these fines, and two out of the three were already canceled by the court, and Barcelona hoped that the third one was also going to be canceled. Now, it seems that the media in Spain, now that the whole Enrique Stereda case has been quiet for quite some time, are now looking for new things to publish in order to discredit Barcelona and ruin its reputation. And since El Confidencial couldn't find anything uh, more concrete than that, they decided to launch this half-baked, half-true article, which is an absolute shame. And it's really sad what's going on in Spain with the whole Madrid-based media. Now, as I reported in a previous video, Matteo Alemani has already begun working on the signing of Sofian Amrabal as a replacement for Sergio Busquets in the pivot position and it seems that that's not the only operation that Alemania has already began working on. Alemania has already started working on the contract renewal of Osman Dembele. Now Dembele's contract will expire with the club in the summer of 2024 and Xabi wants the player to remain in the club and Dembele has also uh, informed the club that he wants to remain in Barcelona. So Matteo Alemani has already gotten to work to extend the contract of the French player with reports saying that Barcelona are willing to give Dembélé a long-term contract that extends all the way to 2028 and that they're gonna keep paying him the same salary that he's currently receiving. Now it's reported that Barcelona are in a hurry to try to renew the contract of Osman Dembélé as fast as possible because he currently has a 100 million euro release clause but that clause will go down to 50 million euros starting in June and that's of course not a lot of money for the other clubs to pay and try to take Osman Dembélé away from Barcelona. Now by giving Dembélé a long-term contract until 2028, I think that Barcelona are really gambling here because on one hand, it might not end up working out well where Dembélé could end up being injured for the next five years like it happened the first time they signed him. But on the other hand, if it does work out and Dembélé can stay healthy for those five seasons and perform with the club, that would be great for Barcelona because they're currently offering him a low salary, the same salary that he's still getting paid. So if he does end up staying healthy and performing like he does when he is healthy, that would be an absolute bargain for Barcelona in the terms of salary. Now hopefully Dembélé can stay healthy because again, the past five seasons, he was unable to stay healthy because he wasn't disciplined. There was reports talking about him staying up late eating a lot of junk food and not taking his fitness and his diet seriously. But this season, even though he was injured for three months, he did do much better than the previous seasons while he remained healthy for the entire first half of the season. And now he's back once again to finish up the last stretch of the season. And this is only his first season of him taking his diet and training seriously. So who knows, maybe if he continues on this path, he can remain healthy for the next five years, continue to perform well, and hopefully that will pay off with Barcelona getting an absolute bargain by paying a low salary to a player that performs really well when he is healthy. But of course, I always love to hear from you guys, so drop a comment down below. What do you think about Barcelona giving Dembele a long-term contract? Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Now, speaking of Xavi Hernandez, it's reported that the Barcelona coach is gonna meet with Jordi Alba in order to discuss the player's future. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, Xabi is set to meet with several players at the end of the season in order to discuss their futures with many of these players who will be departing the club in the summer. And one of these players that Xabi will be meeting with is Jordi Alba. Now, it's reported that Xabi is gonna directly speak to Jordi Alba and confront him with the two possibilities that he currently has at the club to either drastically reduce his salary in order to remain in Barcelona and fit and help the club with the financial fair play restrictions 
Or number two, if he doesn't want to reduce his salary, to start looking for a new club because Barcelona cannot afford his incredibly high and inflated salary that was given to him by Josep Maria Bartomeu. Now, as of now, it's reported that Jordi Elba does not want to leave Barcelona, not only because he's happy at the club, but also due to family reasons because his wife is about to have a third kid and they're all very happy living in the city of Barcelona. But of course, that doesn't mean that Jordi Alba is not gonna wanna leave in the summer because it's reported that Xavi is gonna let the player know honestly that the two left backs that he counts on for next season is Alejandro Balde as the starter with Marcos Alonso being his substitute. So we are gonna have to see what Jordi Alba will do in the summer. Xavi will, is definitely gonna put the ball in his court and be completely honest with him because he wants to do the things the right way. And it's gonna be up to Jordi Alba to either reduce his salary to remain at the club until his contract expires in 2024 or be uh, or being handed the letter of freedom and having to look for a new club come this summer. Now we will end today's video with the news that it looks like Pierre Emerick Aubameyang is not gonna be coming to Barcelona this upcoming summer. Now, as I reported in yesterday's live stream, Chelsea were considering not letting Aubameyang leave as a free agent this summer because they wanted to offer him to Atletico de Madrid plus some cash in exchange to Joao Felix, who Chelsea are happy with his performance. And it's now being reported that Chelsea informed Aubameyang today that they're definitely not going to be letting him go for free because Chelsea need to sell as many players as possible come this summer in order to avoid recording losses on their books after the huge spending that they did this past two transfer markets. Now, as a result of this, it's going to be very highly unlikely that Aubameyang will join Barcelona because, as I've said in previous videos, the only way will Barcelona sign Aubameyang as a substitute for Lewandowski is if Aubameyang leaves Chelsea as a free agent because Barcelona don't want to pay for a player who's 34 years old and who they just uh, sold a few months ago. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Pisca Barça.